We'll talk about lions this morning. A lot of people, when we think of lions, we think of the lion that's at the zoo, the circus, or we think of the little, the little lion on the Lion King, Zimba. What's his name? Zimba? Zimba. We think lions are all cute and cuddly. We think of the cowardly lion on the Wizard of Oz. A, a hippopotamus? Why am I going to top the bottoms? <laughs> so we think you've got this vision of this lion and that they're cute. The lions are they're ferocious, folks. They're ferocious. Amen. And all too often we don't realize the miracle that God did back in Daniel's time. And, and the, the amazing thing of it is, God's still in the miracle business. Amen. Amen. He ain't changed. He's, he's the same God he is today as he was back then. But we're going to look at the lion story, Daniel the lion then this morning, and just kind of get a little bit of aspects of it that, like I said, you've all heard the story before, but maybe I can bring out a few things that maybe we, we often off overlook. But let me read, if you got your Bibles with me, I'm going to read one through four, I'm going to read the whole chapter. And I'm going to start with one verse and one through four, okay? And I'm reading from the King James, which is a little different than yours, bear with me. It pleased Darius, now Darius was the new king, okay? It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 princes, which should be over the whole kingdom. And over these three presents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might have accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him. An excellent spirit was in him. And the king might <coughs> set him over the whole realm. Then the presence and princes sought to find an occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither were there any error or fault found in him. Now think about that for a minute. He had to, he's going to set up some rulers, Daniel being one of them, and he was going to be the first president, okay, or he was going to be the head guy in charge. Why? Because it says here, let's read it again. There was an excellent third verse, an excellent spirit was in him. Daniel, he had the spirit of Christ. Amen. We're not going to be perfect, and people are going to find fault with us, but we can try to be perfect. Don't get me wrong, man. You can't earn your way to heaven, you can't work your way to heaven, but you can try to live a life, a life. A light, let the light shine in a way that people see you and they say, you know what, I want this guy to rule. I want this guy to be ruler. I want this guy to do that. I want this lady to do this. Okay? But you had some, you had some guys here that went down to rule them. So they tried to find fault with them. And just think about this. Ask yourself this question. If someone was to look at your life and follow you around where you were, would they be able to find fault with you? Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you had somebody follow you to work, not just in church, follow you to work, follow you at home when you're on the computer, when, when you think nobody's with you and God's watching, if we all, and I'm just guilty, we all have our faults. Amen. But here Daniel had none. They couldn't find any. And, and this applies in work more than most places. But if you ever be out in the workforce, and you get caught up in this, and you get caught up in that, and people bickering and that, and they really can't really find fault with you. They're going to use something against you. And they couldn't find fault with Daniel, so what are they going to use against Daniel? I won't continue to read here, but the point I want you to catch is, they find fault with Daniel, and they use his religion to find fault. When we're out in the world, people's going to use our religion. If they know we go to church, and they know we're a Christian, Church, believe it or not, whether you want to accept this responsibility or not, we are under the microscope. They are watching us, and they'll use our religion. And the first time, when I, when I say we're going to use our religion, the first time we say something or do something, we'll look at him. He's supposed to be a Christian. And they'll use the religiousness against us, okay? Read Daniel 5 through 9, stay or 6 chapter. Then said these men, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him according to the law of his God. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. 
All the presence of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whoso shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and design the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which alloweth not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. So there they had, they used the religion again. They couldn't find fault with him, so now whoever well, want to trap him. And if we, in today's world, if people can't find fault, there's fault finders. Amen? Unfortunately, and sadly enough, there's fault finders that come to church to find fault with each other. And if we look hard enough, I can, you can find fault with me. If I look hard enough, I can find fault with you. But we use religion all too often sometimes to, to enhance or, or make it easy to find Paul. Okay? So here you have these guys that made up this new law who were to be illegal to pray. And I'm not saying that we're going to get to this time that we live in, but it may happen. It may happen where we're not able to go to church. I, don't, I personally don't think myself or even my children see that day. But it may come a time if we're ever under some type of government that we ain't allowed to do this or ain't allowed to do that. And they'll try to find fault with us and trap us with our religion. Okay? But I want you to catch here. They want to make a new law, but Daniel, and they knew Daniel prayed. They knew he kept his window open. So they just want to trap him. Okay? Let's continue to read. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into the house, and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day, and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did upon the time. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before God. The law was written, but Daniel, being a man of God, Full of that excellent spirit that was in him, continued to do what he needed, what he knew was right to do. Amen. He continued to do what he knew was right to do. If you go with me to Matthew, we'll place here because we're going to come back. 